This interview is for information only and should not be considered as investment advice or a recommendation to buy shares in the company featured. Welcome to this stock box interview. Joining us this morning is Clarissa Sheremimo Coker, the newly appointed CEO of Oxford Cannabinoid Technologies. So the RNS is out. Clarissa, it is official. Congratulations. First of all, how are you feeling about your new official appointment as CEO? Uh, thanks, Mark. I mean, absolutely delighted, of course, and, and hugely grateful to, to the board and, and to the wider team for the support they've given me in the last, you know, four months, I guess, since I took over as interim and Indeed, the last sort of just over four years that I've been at the company. Um, also, a little word of thanks, I think, to the shareholders who, who I've interacted with over the last uh, four months quite quite regularly, and to those specifically who've reached out this morning to, to give messages of congratulations. So very grateful to, to the whole team, really. Excellent. Well, thank you for that. There's, of course, a few things to cover off as well in this RNS. The first thing is the home office license renewal. So obviously, that's a very key element of a business operating in the space that you are. So the home office are clearly very happy with the work that you're doing. Yeah, that, that's right, Mark. Obviously, it, it's an ongoing process. That renewal has to happen you know, every year. And uh, this is our fifth consecutive uh, successful renewal. We work very closely with the home office to make sure we are meeting uh, their quite rigorous, as you'd expect, requirements. Uh, and so, of course, it's it's fundamental that we get that license renewed, because as you as you said, we are working with you know, controlled substances. So it's very important uh, for the business. So delighted to have that have that renewed again for a fifth consecutive year. OK, well, let's get a bit of an update on the activities within the company. Of course, we're waiting, of course, this uh, this REC 2 and MHRA, aren't we, for Programme 1. I guess the team are uh, sort of raring to go. And you've mentioned in your comments you really want to hit the ground running as soon as that comes in. So, yeah, how how is the team feeling? How are you feeling? When do you expect to actually be able to hit the ground running? Uh, good question, Mark. So, yeah, absolutely. We're all raring to go uh, and very much ready to hit the ground running once we get that approval. Uh, the MHRA uh, and REC have got everything that they need uh, from us. Obviously, you know, we submitted that clinical trial application on the 4th of January. So it has been some time now, uh, but we're confident, given that the time that's elapsed and the information that they've got uh, from the company, that we should be hearing from them very shortly uh, with that approval. And as you'd expect, you know, in the intervening period, the team's been working very hard, um, you know, internally and also with Simbeck Orion, our, our partner, um, who's going to be conducting that, that, that trial for us to make sure that as soon as we get that green light, we are ready to go. Good, good, good. And then programme two, that's, uh, that's ready to enter phase one as well. So you've made some good progress there. Yeah, that's right. So uh, the preclinical work, which is obviously a very big package of work, uh, as you know from our conversations uh, on our first program, um, is now complete uh, and we are ready to go into the clinic with that program. Uh, as we announced uh, last year, uh, we've paused the clinical phase of that work in order to extend the cash runway. Nothing has changed there, but it is very important that we completed that preclinical. Uh, so we are ready to go into phase one. And of course, you know, the team and I are looking at alternative ways of perhaps being able to get into that uh, clinical phase. Uh, and if we have an update for the market on that, I will certainly be coming back to you, uh, but nothing to report on that one just as yet. Okay. And then finally, programmes three and programmes four, then you want to get them sort of work going underway. Q2, is that right? Well, that's right. So we always said that we would have those programmes at lead candidate and, and ready for preclinical stage, uh, respectively, uh, during Q2 of this year, uh, which is now upon us. Uh, and we are on track for that. So uh, at some point during Q2, we should be being able to share with the market a, a bit of progress there. Everything's on track with those programmes and, uh, and looking good. Okay, fantastic. But the focus really there is with Programme 1. You as the new CEO, what would you like to see achieved with the company throughout this year? Great question, Mark. So I'd love to go into Phase 1 with uh, with our lead programme, you know, here, get that news from the MHRA and actually start getting hard data to demonstrate, you know, the safety and tolerability of that compound so that we can then progress things and, and move closer to our mission, really, of getting medicines into the hands of patients uh, that need them. You know that you know program one is directed specifically, um, initially at least, at CIPN or chemotherapy-induced peripheral neuropathy. Big unmet need there. 
uh, you know, $1.61 billion market in, in 2020. So it, it's a big issue to solve. So really the focus is moving our uh, clinical assets through the milestones that we need to hit to develop them as, as drug products for patients and also to increase shareholder value over time. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time today, Clarissa Shomimo Coker, the CEO of Oxford Cannabinoid Technologies. Thanks, Mark. If you enjoyed this interview, then give us a thumbs up, a like, or a retweet. Subscribe to us on YouTube or follow us on Twitter and hit that notification bell to be the first to know when we release new content. There's loads of great content on our website too, across all our programs at stockboxmedia.com. Thank you for watching.